Tonight I'm going to show you how to make a pot roast. Very nice and very tender. You can use bottom round, top round, or London boil. I'm just going to show you how to make it real nice and beautiful. So let's go into cooking school. I see you there. So now I'm going to show you how to cook pot roast. Now when you buy pot roast, you can use this bottom round here or just the piece which they call sometimes sirloin. It's not a sirloin strip, but they call it sirloin. So I'm going to use this one. When you now make a piece like this, cost me $8 retail. It's really lots of money, but it's a nice piece of beef and it probably serves you two or three times as long as it don't make your portions too big. I cut this in half because my pot is not too big. And what I do then, I always salt my meat before I cook it. Put a little salt in here, not too much. It just looks this a lot because it's a small screen. Put the salt in here, heat up your pan and just put it in here, just like this. You see this? Which is very nice. Now you're gonna brown it off on all sides. As long as this gets brown, you take some onion and you just chop the onion like this. You see this little onion, some carrots, and I didn't peel the carrots because I strained the sauce afterwards, but I, of course, washed the carrots. I take some celery, just like this, and now we add to this meat, and you see this, it doesn't stick on here. You can just turn it the other way around. It's got nice and brown already because I preheated the pan. And now we add these vegetables in here. You see this? You saute this vegetable for approximately three, four, or five minutes. So the vegetables turn nice and colorful. When they start to get a little brown, you take some tomato paste. Two, three tablespoons, whatever. You add this in there too. Then you cook it with this tomato paste for like another four or five minutes or so till it becomes a little bit brown. When it's a little bit brown, you add a little liquid to it, like a tablespoon or two of chicken stock or any other stock or just a little bit water. And then what happens, this water or this chicken stock cooks with the vegetable and it starts to glaze down. When it glazes down, it gets a little colorful. This glazing you actually do two or three times and when you send for the recipe, it tells you exactly how to do it. However, you have to send a self-addressed stamped envelope to get a recipe. So when you have deglazed it three or four times, the vegetable turn nice and colorful. You add a little flour to it, not too much, maybe a tablespoon or so, and then you fill it up with the rest of the chicken stock, or if you have no regular chicken stock, you can use the canned stuff too, whatever, and you cook it like this for hour, hour and a half. The weight comes out, and guess what? I forgot my fork here, so I'm not gonna stop, you know, and just take it out like this. Take your little finger, take the meat out, this is the meat. You take a little sieve, you strain the sauce like this, and the sauce became that nice and colorful just because you glazed it down a few times. Now you have the sauce, you have the meat here, you can serve this two, three times, it's inexpensive and it's very nice. I'm gonna eat this one, and I see you. It is terrific the way it is.